And it's always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. We find ourselves in Monaco with football action on the menu. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Monaco, and they face Trabzonspor. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3 4 3. And I think we see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the match begins. Excellent ball as they make their way forward. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Now, who can he play it to? Galavine. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, he's a player who demonstrably keeps improving. We Sam Ben Yedder. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He was certainly tightly marked today. And can they make one of these passes count? And now it's Hamzik. Can they forge ahead? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Under a fair bit of pressure. Well, not a great ball played in. Nice and easy for the keeper. Mohamed Kamara. Dalavine. Here's Ben Yadair. And he successfully got past him. Good-looking sequence. Couldn't keep it. Ermir. And Gomez with it. Well, a shot from miles out. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. How about the short corner? Nicely cut out. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position.
Golovin. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Gabama. He's going forward well here. Firing it in. Oh, did so well to deny him. Trying to pick out a teammate. And a corner there that really lacked guile. Just not looking confident in possession. Putting his body on the line. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. Indeed, two trenchant sides not giving very much away at all. The high press, high echelon goalkeeping there. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it. So the corner played into the box. Easy save. Anastasios Bacasetas. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. looking ball the save was a good one and over it comes oh splendid header but a fine save Another corner, can they take advantage of this one? <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not the best clearance. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. And the contest begins... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. his body to good effect will this corner bear fruit for them <laughs> favoring the short one Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Can they hit on the break? Well, they couldn't keep it. 
Votre attention, s'il vous plaît. La personne qui a perdu ses clés de voiture est attendue par de neuf. Hamjik. Teammates available. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Diata. And space here on the flank. Will he play it in? Ben Yedder. Well, a textbook interception. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Gomez, cross blocked. The high press was on, and the chance is on. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. A wonderful intervention. And into the last 20 minutes. Maximiliano Gomez. Oh, good vision. Gomez. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Oh, goodness gracious me! It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plomb. It's a great goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Fofana. No, high quality defending. And blocked for now. Anastasios Bacasetas. Well read to win possession back. Now in the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done enough. Stuart, your assessment? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. And they're making a change. to attack from the wide areas Trezeguet a really effective shielding under pressure oh a smart save and that keeps them in with a chance well there's still a bit of time left can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser oh that's an interesting pass Ben Yedder able to get a body in the way Oh, he looks threatening. Gives it a go. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.